What's up, YouTube? Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. In today's episode, we're going to tell you all about the world and history of vinyl wrap for your vehicles, for advertising, whatever you need. Also, we're going to give you some valuable consumer information along with some helpful DIY tips in case any of you guys are planning to do this at home on your own. So to do this right, we got to come over to Wrap Legacy and Upland as they prepared a bunch of vehicles actually for SEMA all within two weeks. You'll see more roll in later on. More on this later, but sterile conditions are a must when you're vinyl wrapping so we're super fortunate that anybody even let us record during such a time sensitive project. So we're gonna go start to finish on all the vehicles, filling you in on what's needed to prep them and take you all the way to the show at SEMA with the final product, showing you the benefits of vinyl wrap along the way. So first off, if you're watching this considering modifications to your vehicle, you should know that most reputable vinyl wrap shops will also be capable of installing things like aero kits, fenders, bumpers, all that stuff, no problem. And from a consumer level, it's actually heavy on design. It can take multiple trips to the shop. You can approve a rendition or proof based on samples or ideas before ordering. But just so you know, it's always going to be a leap of faith and you're going to be nervous waiting for the final product because different wraps reflect light uniquely based on curves and angles of specific vehicle panels and depending on your choice of satin, matte, or gloss, but more on that later. And before we go too deep, I should tell you a bit about Wrap Legacy. We've known them for a few years now and they are one of those precious businesses that charge on the high end of the cheap side, but the quality of the work they've done for us specifically has really seen no equal at any price point. Basically at standard retail prices, I wouldn't have been able to afford to learn the tips that I'm going to give you guys here. So Vinyl Wrap actually started out by fulfilling a need in advertisement since way back in the day of the Ford Model A's and race cars, advertising on vehicles has always been the go-to for companies going way back to Milton Hershey as the first example but in paint only. Vinyl Wrap or Vinyl Chloride became the advertising material of choice by the 1950s and coincidentally it was invented a few times throughout history by a bunch of different people going as far back as 1838 by a French dude named Henry Victor Renault but he couldn't find an application for it so it never went anywhere. The polyvinyl chloride or PVC that we know it as today was invented in 1926 by accident actually thanks to Waldo Seaman while he was working at the Goodrich company now known as BF Goodrich. But back then nobody could afford it so the first customers were actually the US Navy and Air Force using it on everything from insulating the wires on warships to the decals of the planes. With the Lamborghini or the Mustang? Mustang. What are you guys gonna do this guy? Huh? Just the kit? Yeah. This is not gonna get wrapped? Yeah, it's gonna get wrapped too, but the kit the kit's outside. Those two boxes are yeah. So by the 1980s, chemical advances made it a bit cheaper. By the way, vinyl chloride is composed of salt, limestone, water, and coke. The carbon-rich fuel, not to be mistaken with the human booger sugar fuel. But then the 1990s saw computing advancements that made all the difference, most notably electrostatic printers, then at the turn of the century by graphic design software and whatever a piezoelectric or piezoelectric ink check printer is. I might have butchered that, I'm sorry, whatever. But the data capacity for a wrap project, thanks all that, went from one gigabyte to three gigabytes, making vinyl wrap possible for small businesses and do-it-yourself projects. So obviously this Lamborghini has a full wrap and then all this aero kit, it's all in carbon fiber, so it goes over. But if you just had fiberglass fenders, fiberglass hood, or you wanted to do just accents to your car, make it look like you got a carbon fiber roof or a hood or just matte roof, black hood, whatever you want, they can do that. As you guys can see in the grill, see the bottom was gray. They're going to cover it up with black on the other side. They did accents to our truck. It's really awesome. You don't need a complete wrap. Easy. 
All right, so now for some consumer help. The mirrors, the mirror caps, all that stuff are one of the main problem areas for wrapping. So if you're checking out a wrap to know if the installers were good, check on that. You might see stretch marks, holes, all kinds of imperfections on there. So work surface, just filling the beginner questions for any of you guys that are interested. You can wrap fiberglass like I said before, you have to prep every surface as if it's paint ready. Clean it with isoprophic alcohol, all that stuff. But if you're using wrap to cover any imperfections in your paint, they will show up through the undercoat. So no free lunches, you gotta prep the surface. Vinyl wrap printers can make sheets six feet wide by 150 feet long in any pattern from camo or graphics, so your options are kind of limitless. Vinyl wrap now beats out paint for lettering advertising as well as custom paint jobs. A lot of people use clear wraps to protect the paint, going with the full wrap or just in strategic areas that see road abuse, track or trail damage. And another consumer tip, once your vehicle is done, it should sit for a day or so for what's called vinyl curation. Sometimes it shrinks, sometimes they need maintenance too, like they'll peel a little bit. I'll tell you more about that later in some other problem areas. Also, something else to consider if you're planning to wrap your vehicle, you can save some money if its original color is black. Check out how the original vehicle color shows when the doors are open, it's kinda nasty. The answer to this is to also wrap those hidden areas, but it's labor intensive and adds cost, so most shops will let the customer make that call. Wrap legacy. However, if it's black from the dealer, it's not an ice store when the doors are open, and you can avoid that extra cost. But just so you know, that is another way to judge the quality of work that an installer does. See now this right here, it's all bunched up, and then since the weather's kind of cold, you have a chance of ripping this shit, and then there goes a whole giant quarter pound. Door handles, that's the go-to for work inspection. They're a pain in the butt. Small real estate with a lot of stretching means problems, giggity. Some shops actually shy away from doing them, so door wells, mirror caps, door handles, and one more important area coming up later to focus on for judging the quality of your rep. But the more you stretch it, it changes the sheen or what? Yeah. I hadn't realized that before about some panels not being friendly to certain vinyl selections. If you overstretch on a work area, you can turn a satin into a matte or a gloss into a satin. If you have asked around and gotten conflicting answers for what design is and is not possible, this might have something to do with it. Also, if you've been disappointed in the past about an idea that was not possible, check again. This industry is evolving fast, everything from material selection and quality to installing techniques, so don't be too scared to ask again. And final consumer tip is to check all the corners of your body panels that have been wrapped. Lifting or peeling is not uncommon in those areas and it's part of vehicle maintenance actually. 
However, because it is an industry challenge, less reputable shops play a nasty trick on their customers. They simply use an aggressive adhesive to hold down the material in these areas. This will damage your paint, and one of the reasons for wrapping your vehicle in the first place is paint protection, so that customer just got screwed. Fun fact coming up about longevity of wraps. But for now, the guys are all done, and they're on their way to Vegas for SEMA. So SEMA, to go for work is awful. Sounds great, but checking in can be a pain and a lot of waiting, but once you're squared away in your booth, then you're basically sitting or squatting in your spot for about a week. For a spectator, it's totally worth it to go once, even if it's just a day. I'll leave in clips so you guys can check it out and see all the cool vehicles in there and all the industry specific stuff you can check out. Basically, anything automotive has multiple mini showrooms throughout the venue. You do vinyl wraps? Yeah. So you don't do any paint? No paint. No paint? No paint. No paint. No paint. You just some spray painting. <laughs> So in case you're wondering, it's actually a common question, how long will a wrap last you? Well, that depends on your intended use. For an off-road vehicle like we use that's prone to trail damage, you probably should start saving for a new wrap after about two years. For a car that can't be kept in a garage, you should probably start saving after the third year. So a garage kept or show vehicle, the wrap will last long enough for you to be bored with the design, honestly. And when you remove said wrap, you will have a mint condition paint job underneath if you went to a good shop. And fun fact regarding the shelf life of wraps. Back in 1993, German law required that the taxis be painted beige because obviously they were having way too much fun any other color, right? But after service, the owners would try to sell them and they would take huge losses because legally they could not be sold or registered unless they were repainted. But K Premium Marking Films found a loophole. The taxis were wrapped lasting for at least three years years after which the wrap could be removed and the original paint exposed. Since the vehicle had already been registered, it was legally compliant. It basically served as a large experiment proving that vinyl wrap was affordable because even once it expires, the paint job underneath still retains its original value. So that's it guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video interesting or useful. Please subscribe and like, and please share with anyone you know who is looking into vinyl wraps at the moment. Links to Wrap Legacy will be in the description. I highly recommend them if you're anywhere near Southern California. Not only did they do the accents on our ZR2, they also did the multi-layer camel wrap on our Raptor, and they're gonna do the new wrap once we get it back soon. They've also worked on my wife's vehicles, and we have sent many friends to them for anything from vinyl wraps to tinted windows over the years. And no off-roading in this video, so keep it dirty doesn't make any sense so let's just say keep it giggity